I have got a real treat for you today. It's just a dream cast. When they were announced and we saw all their photographs together, we just thought, this is our movie. I'm part of an extraordinary team. We got Samuel Jackson. Hannah Waddingham. Nicholas Holt. Harvey Guillen. Ving Rhames. Brett Goldstein. Bowen Yang. Cecily Strong. Janelle James. Snoop Dogg. And Chris Pratt as Garfield. Dinner is served. It felt like a very natural fit for me to play Garfield. I love lasagna. I'm lazy. I'm a very much an indoor cat. We need to toughen you up. Chris really understood the character and absolutely nailed him. You can sit back immediately and go, yeah, that's Garfield. Definitely a Monday. I spoke with Chris about capturing the nature of the character, but in his natural voice. Working with Mark Dindle is just great. Him allowing me to take ownership of the role and to colloquialize a little bit, those things end up oftentimes being the type of magic that really can elevate a movie. This is the universe telling me to take it easy on the fromage. Is this the universe telling me to take it easy on the cheese? Okay, I get it, universe. Take it easy on the cheese. <laughs> that was pretty funny. I'm Samuel L. Jackson, and I'm voicing Vic. We need to go. Come on, Junior. <gasps> you. Uh, hey, Junior. We were trying to figure out the mischief of that character and the uh, street knowledge that he has that allows him to survive. That was too close even for me. One cool thing about doing this movie was getting to work with Chris Pratt. Samuel L. Jackson and Chris Pratt had great chemistry. Well, look, if jumping a train is too hard, just say it. How hard could it be? Exactly! <laughs> they played off each other beautifully. Oh, damn! <laughs> Jinx is played by Hannah Waddingham. Oh dear, this is awkward. Family dynamics can be a bit of an emotional pretzel, can't they? Mark came to me and said we'd love you to play this kind of outlandish character, Jinx. You boys have 72 hours, or else. She's a great, big, overfluffed white cat who, from the outside, is very misunderstood. The way that Hannah plays her, it's very sympathetic. You have empathy for her, so that she isn't just a villain. <laughs> Nicholas Holt voices John and does such a great job. Time to go to the vet! And uh, plays John in a way that makes you really feel for him. He's a bit lonely and was in desperate need of somebody, some family, to share his meals with, and that's what he found in Garfield. And Garfield gets real comfortable real quick. Uh, what? Where'd you get that chair? Of course, my canine friend, Odie Harvey Guillen. That was a challenge because it is not a verbal character. He has to express in barks and yips and yowls. <laughs> and Harvey did a great job with that. Odie, shape everything from the bottom two shelves into a dumpling. <laughs> Ving Rhames plays Otto, who is a ally that they meet along the way. <laughs> Too slow. We also have Brett Goldstein as Roland and Bowen Yang as Nolan. They're henchmen for Jinx. We'll be watching you like a hawk. And Cecily Strong plays Marge Malone, who is the head of security at Lactose Farms. Well, okay then. Let's go have a look-see. This cast was just stellar, and their ability to make the characters their own was really wonderful. The heart of the movie comes through. After viewing the movie for the first time, I was absolutely thrilled. It leaves you with a good feeling at the end. Uh, is he going to be coming around for dinner often? Yeah. Woo. He's family. <laughs> <laughs>